All right, so the first time I came across Mullen Leaf was because of Cooper Bay Apothecary and the Yarrow as well. Um, there was an offer to receive a package and I made an investment for it. And as soon as I got it, I had um, put it in a tea bag. So I cut up a tea bag from like a chamomile tea mm -hmm. and I sw swapped the both of them and I mixed both of them in the tea bag itself. Mm -hmm. um, but I used intentionally water from um, Mount Caskill, mm -hmm. heated up that, mixed it with no sweetener at all. And then eventually I just started using honey or agave. And uh, the first, first time without the sweetener that I took the, the tea, Mm -hmm. I drank it out of a glass and um, the water was super super green mm -hmm. like very light green and uh, changed my mood right away like as soon as I tasted it it changed mm -hmm. my mood and then uh, when I came over to PR I started using the Puerto Rican honey when did you start using the or tell me how you know about Mullen sure. and Yarrow Mullen and Yarrow are like some of the best wild crafting herbs because they like to grow like in many different zones. Um, Mullen's like one of the friends that you do for anything lung related. And um, Yarrow is like your classic, like, you know, anti-fever, anti-inflammatory. And so putting them together is a nice way to kind of balance like, you know, natural lifestyle of smoking and being inflamed. And it's also very intuitive you added the honey because these two can sometimes make you dry, but then the honey will moisten again. And so it's like balanced in terms of um, moisture. And yeah, I mean, Mullen grows all around like the land of my family in Utah. And so it's everywhere. You can mix it in a smoke blend. It's very soft. It's like nature's toilet paper. Um, and yarrow is all different kinds. There's white yarrow, red yarrow, yellow yarrow, but they're all for fever, all for decrease in the heat in the body. In our modern day reality of sugar and oil, it's like everything's inflammatory. So it helps balance all that out. All right. And then we have the Power Flush from Universal Healing. And uh, so talk to me a little bit about, you said the black walnut is like the inner shell, but it's not the... The, it's not the most inner shell, it's like the second most second mm. most outer layer. Yeah, so the nut is on the inside, mm -hmm. and then the hole, which is what they used here in the paraflush, is like that next layer, um, which is underneath the husk, which is the thick um, green when it's fresh, and then black when it's more ripe. Um, but yeah, black walnut is it's antifungal, it's antiparasitic, Western medicine, Chinese medicine. Black walnut is classic for that. It could be very bitter though, um, and so you don't want to take it for too long, but it's strong, powerful medicine. And then the second ingredient on there is wormwood, and you said that there's three types, right? And there's many types of wormwood, but there's kind of three major types that are used commonly in herbal medicine. Um, if we assume that this is kind of a sweet wormwood, Right, nice anti inflammatory as well. It's a gentle leaf, too, where it's like things that are leaves tend to be more gentle medicine and things that are roots um, tend to be a little stronger. And so you're having kind of a nice balance there of like starting gentle and then going deeper. And the oregano, obviously, we cook with it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's much more like popular. Mm -hmm. And um, I was interested in what looked like Portuguese or Brazilian. Because bao to me sounds like palo, mm -hmm. and de obviously of, and arco is bark, mm -hmm. or like bark. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. bao de arco, what is that one more time? You're right, it is a bark, yeah, a bark of a tree. And it's also anti-inflammatory, antiviral, but it's used in a lot of um, spiritual ceremonies, rituals. Um, so it's a nice touch to the blend together. Mm, and then the clove. You said that is good for like uh, he, uh, wounds, as if it's a smashed, um, put on as like a ointment, I guess you could say. Exactly, yeah, topical analgesic. 
so it decreases pain, helps ease digestion, so it's a good friend to put in there to help you digest the black walnut. Um, helps with anything that's uh, irregular, like um, burping and belching and acid reflux and mm. GERD. You know the, what was the second name for the sarsa parilla? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it's commonly used in root beer. Oh, it's Smilax? Smilax? Wait, yes. Mm -hmm. S something like that? Mm -hmm. Actually, look that one up. Sarsa parilla root or sarsa parilla. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I've never seen that before. I mean, that's like your classic root beer. Hands down, I mean, root beer at the store is like naturally flavored and sugar, but like classic root beer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, um, what would you say that this is? This would be like the optimal use of like what would be the the purpose of this one? Yeah, I think kind of what it suggests, like taking it a little bit every day for seven days, is a nice like springtime like cleanse. You know, like the heavy nature of winter and the foods that we eat, and so cleaning everything out, right? It's gonna boost your immune system. It's like anything like microbial so your funguses and your bacteria and inflammation and um, gonna kind of clear things out um, take it on an empty stomach get it all flushed in yeah. the name <laughs> <laughs> yesterday we had um, a worker who was working on these uh, vines over here mm -hmm. like clearing out the yard and uh, he was just coming back from the hospital because he had uh, like kidney stones mm -hmm. and they're still in his body. He actually has a picture of, um, yeah, he has pictures of it. And yesterday he was complaining to me about it and I went to the fridge and I served him up like this size, this amount of paraflush with the tea hot and ready to go so i handed him both of them at the same time i told him to take a shot of this and his reaction was like he obviously had the reaction we spoke of like uh like super bitter and then he drank the tea and he was telling me he's like i'm not a very big tea drinker i'm not a big like you know whatever and then half hour later he stopped he stopped working the whole time half hour later he was sipping on his tea taking taking it easy relaxing and then um, he was like, wow, you know, this is amazing. He says, if, if you could cure me, I'll make you, I'll make you rich here in, <laughs> in Boricua, Puerto Rico. And then he ends up three hours later going to the hospital. <laughs> I find that shit so crazy. So he goes to the hospital for taking these, taking this right here, and then... Uh, that was at six in the six in the afternoon, and I didn't see him until two in the morning. He came back at two in the morning, oh, and he felt way better. He felt that's way good better. Medicine. And he's got some good, uh, he's got some good photos to share. So, yeah. So yeah, Cooper Bay Mullen Leaf, Cooper Bay Yarrow, um, and Universal Healing Power Flush. <laughs>